Hi, this is Jim Bergman with Imperial Tool. Wanted to show you today how to do an update of the firmware on the iManifold via the SD card. Originally, all the iManifolds were going to be updated using this method, but later in our development cycle, we figured out a way to do it over the air. So the first few that we shipped will need a one-time manual update done, and then after that, they'll all be over the air update in the future. So in order to do this, we need to pull out three batteries in the left-hand side battery compartment, and then we'll need to take out the two screws that hold that uh, battery holder down. So you just loosen those two screws up, lift up on the bottom of the battery compartment, and you can just dump those screws into your hand and catch them so that you have them. Set them aside on your battery door. And then underneath the battery compartment is the micro SD. Now you just want to lift the battery holder high enough that you can see the two wires there. We don't want to put excessive amount of strains on there. There's some cable in there. You won't hurt anything, but you just can't lift it out because it's uh, actually tethered right to the board. After you get the battery holder up, you need to just pull on the card here, and that's going to eject the card. You'll see it popped out a little bit. So now I'm going to just take my pair of pliers here, lift it up, and take it out. And then the one gig micro SD card that you were shipped, we're going to go ahead and put that card in. So this is the one gig micro SD card, and we'll just set that into the slot. You line it up with the holder, and we'll, you can see it's lined up with the holder now, and then you push it in, and it snaps in exactly the same way as the other one came out. Now, you can just set the battery holder back into place. The iManifold will run on three batteries, so we're going to go ahead and power it up. When we power it up, you're going to see that the status light is flashing. That's indicating that the firmware is being loaded onto the device. After it boots up, then we're all done loading the new firmware on, so we'll power it back off. Flip it back over, take the 1 gig micro SD card out, reinstall the old 8 gig micro SD card that you, that you took out initially. And the only reason uh, we put an 8 gig in there is so you got extra room for data logging. So we'll reinstall that 8 gig card, reinstall the, the battery holder and the two screws, and we're all set. So you can see it takes a less than about two minutes, three minutes to change out the micro SD card. And again, this is a one-time thing. You'll do it one time. And from now on, all your firmware updates will come over the air. This is Jim Bergman for Imperial Tool. Thanks a lot for watching.